Hey my little fashion bugs, how are you doing? Welcome back to our little fashion show that we have together. So our next trend that we're talking about today that I've noticed on the streets is prairie dresses. They're on a lot of runways too. Anna Sui especially had a lot of prairie dresses on her runway. I'm excited about this trend because I'm obsessed with prairie dresses. I've been collecting them for years. I know how to find them. So I'm gonna give you my little secrets on how to find them right now. Ready, ready? Go to a vintage store and look for the label gunny sacks. The sizes will be strange. I, for example, I think wear a size 13 in gunny sacks. A size nine is almost for a child, and a size seven is for someone that is an imaginary person, pretty much. Floral cotton, India cotton, or gunny sacks. Any of those keywords will help you find what you're looking for. Just to let you know, in the 70s, the waist sizes were really little, so make sure you look at the waist measurement on eBay before buying. Good, that's a good tip. The, the history of this style is basically from the pioneer women going across this country. In the 30s, people were wearing a lot of prairie dresses again, and then in the 70s, it came back with a much more gypsy-ish, slightly influenced by the 30s bias cut gowns, but very dreamy, gypsy-ish, loosey-goosey, floral, uh, mysterious wonderment. I, that's what I like. I, I want to look like mysterious wonderment, don't you? Also, it came back slightly in the 90s. I'll show you one of those looks, too. So since this is such a vintage look, you're probably wondering, how do I keep it current? How do I make it look modern? Well, the way to do that is by accessorizing. All of these kinds of looks look good with any kind of Native American accent, with any kind of like fringy business or feathers, but also it looks amazing with the big platforms and wedges that are very popular this season. Some fashion icons that have rocked this look are Florence Welch from Florence and the Machine. She wears the prairie look quite a bit and always looks ethereal and magical in it. Also people like Kate Moss and Sienna Miller are known for wearing the prairie boho look as well. Mary Kate Olsen is frequently seen wafting through New York in one of her favorite loosey-goosey prairie dresses. And Nicole Richie frequently looks like she's some kind of woodland fairy princess. Along with someone like Rachel Bilson, who usually wears more like chic little numbers, but she sort of changes hers by wearing it with a little blazer, so I'm gonna try that. The prairie look has been popping up on a bunch of runways recently, too. Anna Sui did one of my favorite takes on this look. She makes it look really ethereal with a bit of a grunge Navajo edge. But the people that originated this look in, in my sort of lexicon are Stevie Nicks and the Women Apart. They're the reason why I love this look and why it's been sort of what I've wanted to look like my whole life because they look so gypsy-ish and mysterious and beautiful in it. Here's a street style pick. In you style, here's Snotty Potty sporting a super adorable red asymmetrical prairie look. Um, if I was your stylist, Anna, I would add a suede gray belt to go with your super cute plaits and a stack of bracelets on your naked arm, just to make it look even nakeder. So that's it for prairie dog things today, guys. I hope that you have lots of inspiration for fun things to wear. And you know, this is a pretty cheap way of shopping, I find. So you can you can get this whole kind of outfit for under $25, I think. Here's some fist kisses for you. And it's kisses, and kisses, and elephant kisses. And I guess this is what a prairie dog kiss would look like. Okay, so I'm crazy again. That's that's all for today. I hope that you enjoyed. Bye!